Hey guys, uh, I have the uh, short section today to uh, just share with you the uh, quite a good uh, tip um, in the, the dealing with the uh, node value uh, when you play with a number. So, um, uh, for illustration, let me print uh, the value into the visualization and I share with you. Uh, I think it, it, it clearer. So, um, the first one I print is uh, order date into, and then I will uh, print it to uh, the month. Okay, so I have 12 months, and um, I will print the uh, let's uh, I print the sales into uh, the view. So I print sales in. And uh, let match it a number of the row. Let's uh, I print the product. Uh, uh, let's say the subcategory, yeah. and then I extend the view. So, so you can see actually in the view here, you see uh, some block here um, without a number. Uh, I don't see many here. If I print this one to the year view, let's see. If I can see more in here, so this one I put it by much. Okay. I think it's uh, too many, so let me filter maybe just one year or two years, right? Okay, here we go. So you see some block here without a number. It means uh, it's appear with uh, no value. With no value, it's not zero. It's not strings or uh, neither um, not space. Right? Neither space. So um, what I want to do is uh, to share with you two things um, in this section. It uh, one is to replace the no uh, sales here with uh, zero. Right? So the quick way to do that is. Uh, on the sales value here, just put yet end. This is the function to say uh, is equal zero if no value, right? if no value, right? yet end. So enter. So you did you you still uh, we still haven't seen anything zero appear in here. Uh, it is uh, in the month. Uh, you need to teach into the show missing value right? and when you click in here actually now you can see the zero value in here right? okay so when you uh, replace zero uh, you replace the, the no value with zero you can do the um, um, calculation right? uh, if you still leave that with one no the calculation will go wrong okay so that's the first thing uh, I go to the second thing you see uh, I still hold the sales here right so now I don't replace the um, the no value here by zero but I want to replace the no value by the previous value right? so uh, let's see how I do that one so I think I have the uh, calculation the calculated field here I use the function to call that if the sum of sales is not and then we take the previous value otherwise it's some sale right so I use the I if we see the uh, similar with if but the um, the the, um, the coding T is shorter right so I applied so now I print this one in to the view uh, maybe in here uh, I keep it here I print this one out and now I print that into the view so you can see the um, um, you can see is now it not 
here, if you remember, here be, uh, before it's a zero, uh, it's a no value. So it, it's supposed to be, uh, this one would be 1,725, this one would be 6,021, right? But it had the left hand side. So uh, what we can do is go to the uh, data here and then we need to use the table down. So now we have the value, right? So now we have this one copy us. The value will be um, from these, uh, for, for, you know, the one it before. Right? Okay, and then in case we want to use the value of the previous but from the left hand side, so you replace the value here by the table cross. So that will take the value on the left and put it on the right. Okay. Um, I hope this help uh, you in uh, in the preparation step. You know, uh, before you do the calculation, um, I believe this is important. Um, before you do the calculation, otherwise the note value can print your uh, result um, uh, go wrong. Right? Thank you very much and uh, have a great day.